Trump like that? No, you won't. But don't talk to Irene like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My Chanel, period. So we are back with another video, okay? And you guys guessed it. You was right. We are back with a motherfucking story time. Now, I'm gonna be telling this story time while I do my hair. Um, I'm not going nowhere fantastic. As you can see, my hair is looking very, you know, I don't know, it's looking very rusty right now. Honestly, y'all, I'm just going to be doing my hair, um, flat iron it, cause it's really not flat iron right now. Like, I can't even run my hands through it. I can't even run my fucking hands through this hair. I'm going to be telling story times. Before I get started, I'm going to be telling story times about the racist encounters that I have faced at Ulta Beauty. Guys, and I know I used to work at Ulta. I, I literally don't work there because of COVID. I might go back. <laughs> Working at Ulta, I have dealt with the craziest of the craziest customers that I've ever dealt with in my life at any, like, we for to get into it. These story times are very short. Combining all these story times into one, and let's get started. So the first, very first story time that we're gonna talk about is the time where this customer tried me. Well, all these motherfuckers tried me, but this is the time where this lady tried me and I almost would pass, okay? At Ulta, I, work, I worked with the ED, cause I don't work there no more. I worked at the registers. I know you guys will be thinking, oh, I thought you did makeup. You cannot do makeup at Ulta if you don't have a license. And I know how to do makeup, but I don't have a license, so I can't do makeup. You feel me? I worked at the register. So I was at the register this day. I remember so vividly. I was at the registers. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. When I tell y'all your girl loves to play at Ulta, like... When I tell y'all I love to fucking play at Ulta, I love to play, I like to have fun. Like, bitch, in my honest in my honest opinion, let me just keep it a buck with you. Bitch, work is for having fun. Unless you get into, like, your real feel, bitch, work is for fun, in my eyes. That's how I view it. Like, if I'm not having fun, bitch, I don't like it. In the front, and I remember very vividly, I was working with people that I liked working with, like, that day. Like, I was working with people that I was, like, very, very happy to be working with, you know? Sometimes if it's too many of us in the front, we need somebody to help in the prestige area. Now, if you ever been to Ulta, you know that Ulta has a high end and a low end side of the store. The prestige area is considered the high end side of the store. So us, we were fucking lazy as fuck. Like we never really wanted to help. And at this time, there was not, there was really no customers. Like I'm not even gonna count to y'all. There was no customers in the line. Um, it, we, it was literally like four of us at the registers just talking. I'm talking about like talking. I used to get my nails done. All the time to this day still get my nails done <laughs> i just wanted to show y'all bitches my set but i got my nails done so every time i got my nails done my co-workers will always be like girl what you got today like you know what's 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 going on today with your nails so bitch i'm like bitch i went to such and such and they charged me such and such and and she put the gems in the ch -ch 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 we're talking my manager's like i know you guys heard me we need help in the prestige area i see there's no one in line so y'all need to come on i'm like well let me go help these motherfuckers because these motherfuckers not gonna stop calling us for some unknown reason like whenever we all got in trouble i was always centered around it like they will always be like yeah it was irene because all my co-workers liked me and they used to talk to me so they will always be like yeah it was you like bitch it's not my fault that these motherfuckers like me the fuck time it was you i was like fuck it let me go help this lady so i I go up to help the lady that needed help i was i got on the thing i'm like how this lady look help and this day it was a very busy day and that was that was so funny because we didn't have nobody in line at that moment but other than that it was a very fucking busy ass day i said hi ma'am how may i help you this is exactly what she does and i'm gonna need to put my flat iron down so y'all hosts can see what she did this bitch said i don't even remember what she was asking for but let's pretend that she was asking for god to me because bitch that's the first thing my eyes saw this dumb bitch 
dumbass bitch said no 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 no. i know what this hoe was asking for this bitch was asking for a color match and that's why we didn't want to go because i hated doing color matches like if you work at a um ulta or sephora or any type of makeup store you just you know you hate doing color matches just very time consuming so that's why we were all avoiding it but i was like fuck it let me go do it this bitch said let's pretend that she wanted to get color match for the fenty beauty foundation right she says color match for the beauty foundation can I ask y'all, did y'all hear me? Did y'all hear me? <laughs> Cause bitch, if you did, I like your ears. Cause bitch, I ain't hear her. Mind you, my ear on my right is not deaf, but already a little, you know, it's down a couple of notches, you feel me? So I said, I'm sorry, ma'am, I did not hear you. What did you say? She says, I said, mind you, she said, I said like that. So bitch, say it. With the same tone that you said, I said. I said. I think you can match for the Fenty Beauty Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, at this rate, just go home. So I told her, I said, ma'am, I'm sorry. I cannot hear you. Mind you, she's Indian. Let me just, let me just go ahead and tell the race. Because they, it's not just white people that be racist. So she said, I said I need to get matched for the Fenty Beauty Foundation. And she said it just like that. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not gonna lie to you, bitch, I said that hell. I don't know who this whole thing she talking to, but she ain't talking to me. And I don't know whether these customers be thinking because I work at this place that they can talk to me anyhow, but I am not like that, honey. I'm just not like that. You're not gonna talk to me like you're stupid. You were the one that wanted to motherfucking whisper like we were taking the test and you was trying to get the answers. Um, that I told your bitch has to speak up, now you got an issue. So I said to her, I said, hold on, you're not gonna be yelling at me like that. And I said it just like that. You just not, you're not. So she said, well, maybe if your deaf ass hurt me. Because guess what, bitch? I am deaf. But what you're not going to do. Let me tell you what you're not going to do. Is you're not going to talk to me like you stupid. You don't want to want to talk like you was a motherfucking mouse. Tell myself if your deaf ass hurt me. So at this point, bitch, I'm appalled. I am shocked. That she had enough balls to talk to me like she was stupid. So I told her, I put my hand in her face and I said, I almost called her a bitch. So I had to take my hand back because my, my next suggestion was gonna be, bitch. So I said, well, if you wanna talk, I mind you, I'm yelling at her. So at this point, everybody in the store is looking at us like we performing. So I said, well, if your ass wasn't talking law the first time, maybe I would've heard you. I ain't matching you for shit. That's exactly what I told her because bitch I ain't because you don't want me to match you now You don't want me to match you now because bitch if I match you bitch I'm gonna tell you this is your color I'm gonna say yeah bitch yellow is your color on purpose So don't 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 tell me to match you at this point my managers in the front see what's going on And I walked off and I walked back up to the front of the store and in my head I'm like you see this is why I don't want to go do it in the first place And that's the reason why a lot of us don't be wanting a color match because a lot of these customers be feeling entitled Like if you go to a customer and you be like hello ma'am how, how may I help you And Stephanie them going to be like hey love how are you can you match me for such and such They be like match me for Too Faced Foundation like you a slave Which I am not matching you for nothing Bitch, I ain't even gonna match you for the dollar store foundation. Talk to me right or don't talk to me at all. The fuck? So I went up to the front. So my manager, she was like, what's going on? Like, I hear that. What's going on? I told my manager, she want to be rude. Mind you, I'm so mad. I didn't even get to tell my manager, like, what happened. Like, I, that's how hot I was. I was like, this lady got me messed up. That's all I said. And she was like, but what happened? And I was just like, she just got me messed up. This lady, um... She she walks away. She walks away and she goes shopping. So she ends up buying stuff. So she comes to the line. This is where the races this is where the races um showed up and showed out. I don't check her out. I make sure I don't check her out. Like as a matter of fact, she was next. Like the lady was next for me to check her out. I stepped back from the motherfucking register, waited for one of my coworkers to have a next guest, and my and my coworker said next guest, and my coworker checked her out because I'm not gonna check you out like bitch. I told you I'm not matching you bitch. I'm not I'm very 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 like that Like you're not gonna talk to me like you're dumb. I don't care where I'm working You're just not gonna talk to me like I'm dumb by the time she came to the register My manager was no longer at the register. So she was like can I please speak to your um to your manager, please to my co-worker So my co-worker was like yeah, sure So my co-worker got on the thing and she called my manager and my manager came up there and my manager was like yes, ma'am How may I help you? I 
I'm looking at her at this point because I'm like, okay, let's see what she finna to lie and say. Because I knew she wasn't going to say nothing, like, nothing significant, you know? So she says, this young lady, she pointed at me. And I'm looking like, what the fuck did this young lady do? Don't lie, ho. Tell the truth. She says, this young lady came over to me and asked me, did I need help? I told her three times what I needed help with. And she continued to play around. Bitch, who the fuck was playing? Bitch, I'm at work. I am not at the gym. Bitch, I am at work. I am not at the club. Who the fuck is playing? Who the fuck is actually playing? Are you dumb, stupid, or both? Please answer that question for me. So she's talking about, so this young lady was playing. I said, first of all, no, wasn't nobody playing. Because like I said, if you lie, I'm going to correct you, ho. Bitch, I'm like iPhone on the text message. Bitch, I'm autocorrect. Whatever the fuck she was saying needed correction, so I intervened. Bitch, I'm not playing. They call her a bitch, but I said, bitch, I'm not playing. Bitch, I said the bitch in my head, and then I said, I'm not playing through my mouth. She said, what nobody talking to you? I said, but I'm talking to you. You was rude from the beginning, still rude. Like, who are you? So at this point, my manager's like, Irene, don't talk to her. Like, let me talk to her. So I kept my mouth shut. Like, I told my manager straight up, I said, I'm going to be quiet. I said, but if people want to start lying, I'm going to start talking again. This racist Indian lady tells me to shut the fuck up. So I said, you shut up. I didn't tell her the fuck because I didn't want to get fired. So we're going back and forth. And I said, who are you? Like, at this point, I'm on 10. I'm yelling. Mind you, the line is so fucking long. The line is so long. So I'm like, who are you? And she said, and I was playing around and talking to my other coworkers. Because the first time I came up to her, my manager on the intercom said, have you, Irene, have you helped out that lady? And I got on the thing and I said, yeah, I'm doing it now. So I don't know where she equated that with playing around, but you're you're a liar. That's what you are. You're a liar. Like, I can hear you now. I can hear you complaining to my manager now. But I went up to help you i couldn't hear you so i'm mad confused as to what you're talking about you're lying you're lying you just wanted me to read your mind and bitch i'm not a mind reader nor am i sidekick or none of that so bitch you're not gonna sit up here and lie on me that's just what you're not going to do managers telling her she's sorry as she should you know how managers are they gotta be the the mediator bitch i'm not sorry i don't know what was wrong with this lady but she comes and she says so are you gonna apologize? And I need to finish this story because I have other stories too. So she tells me, she tells me, are you gonna apologize? I don't want an apology from her. I want an apology from you. I said, I'm not sorry. I said, I'm not sorry that I couldn't hear what you were saying and you wanted to be rude. This bitch says, it would be in your caliber to act the way you do. All black people act like you. Mind you, y'all, she screamed it. Literally everyone in the line was like, <gasps> And it was white women in the line. It wasn't no black ladies in the line. Because she probably would have got that ass whooped had it been black ladies in the line. But it was nothing but white women in the line. But even the white women were shocked. They were like, oh. And I went off, y'all. Like, I can't even. I said, oh, you're racist? I went off. Mind you, like, you said you were sick. So how could you even yell that? That's how that just goes to show that she wanted to mess with me that day. That just goes to show that when she saw a black girl checking her out. For her coloring, she was just like, hell no. Nah. Like, you know, it just goes to show that she had an issue with me from the beginning. Like, the fact that she made that comment. Saying all black people act like this. All black people act like what? Are you not the one who told me to shut the fuck up? I said, you was just the one that told somebody to shut up. I said, so it, show I said, so it says a lot about y'all too. It says a lot about y'all too. Now she quiet because I'm on the other side of the counter in front of her face. Nah, talk your shit. And how uh, Megan said, talk your shit. Bite your lip. <laughs> Do it, please. She's quiet and my manager's literally pushing me to the back. I don't really remember what happened after that. Um, I don't think she called or anything. She just left. She said something like, she's never coming here again as long as I work here. So I guess she could go back because, bitch, I ain't working here for now. So she was like, um, I'm never coming here again. They love saying that when, you know, when she go left. Like, bitch, we don't give a fuck if you're never coming here again. Bitch, don't come back. Like, we do not want you here. I promise you. Ulta might want you here because they need money. But, bitch, I don't want you here. I don't do my managers or nobody. Because we do not have time to deal with difficult-ass customers. You tell it's already hard enough as you know it. Do not come and add more stress to my head. You feel me? That's the first story time about a racist encounter with a motherfucking customer. Let's move on to the second story time. I was working. I don't know if you guys have ever done this at Ulta. It's this new thing that we just developed this year, I think. And it's called order pickup. So you could place an order online and you can pick it up in the store. 
it just it just avoids you from standing in the line basically it just avoids you from standing in the line so this lady comes in I'm doing clearance if you went to Ulta if you guys have ever been to Ulta you guys see that there's there are clearance editors so editors are like those big old blocks with like a whole bunch of products on it now if you guys have been to Ulta you guys have seen it so we had a new set of clearance so my manager she told me hey Irene like don't be on the registers today because like I told you before I was, I was always on the registers she said hey Irene don't be on the registers today we're we're gonna have you doing clearance I was like okay cool whatever like I don't want to do it I really wanted to be at the registers because it was very slow that day but I was like okay whatever cool I'll 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 do it I'll do it there's only literally one of my co-workers on the registers only literally one and the rest of us is us on the floor doing work because we were not busy at all so this white woman comes in she's like a middle-aged white woman she comes in and she stands in the front of the store near like the registers so usually when they stand in the front of the store near the registers they're picking up an order most of the time the majority of the time they're picking up an order nobody came like you know to her side literally this is what she did she walked in the store she stood on the side of the registers and she went like this <sighs> you just walked in the store it's like they be wanting you to just like attend to them you just walked in the store so you thought we were just supposed to somebody was just supposed to be there waiting for you like i'm 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 actually sick of these these customers y'all these customers were too much so she does the huffing and puffing and you can tell it's very obvious she's catching her little attitude because nobody came to her assistance me being the nice person that i am i saw the attitude and really i'm not even gonna lie to y'all i really did not need to go up to her because it's the it's the girl on the register's job to pick up the orders the one who's on the register but the thing is the girl that was on the register had a customer in front of her but even then it's still her job like she's supposed to check out that customer then attend to her it's her job but because i seen the lady had an attitude i was like fuck it let me let me go make sure she's fine you know what i mean because i didn't want her to have that attitude and i'm not even gonna cap to y'all you know y'all have y'all good days and y'all bad days i had a good day this day like i actually had a good morning so i was like let me go see how this lady's doing I went up to her, I said, hey ma'am, how are you? Um, how may I help you? Because I don't know if you want to order pickup or not. Like, I don't know. She's like, I want to order pickup. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Okay. But that was first strike. So I said, fuck it. Like, you know, this lady had an attitude already. Like, I already seen it. You know what I mean? So I let her go. So I said, okay, ma'am, let me get this Bopis. Let me get the Bopis machine for you. And then um, we can get on. We can get on the thing. The Bopis machine is literally the order pickup machine. It's Bopis. It stands for buy online, pick up in store. That's literally it. So I was like, let me get the Bopis machine so um, we can we can go ahead and check you out. She goes, what do you need all that for? I bought it online. I pay for it online. Just let me get my stuff. I got somewhere to be. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Would you talk to Trump like that? I know you won't. So don't talk to Irene like that. I was just looking at this whole like, hmm. Bitch, you are dumb. Like that's 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 just the that's just the the end result of why you're acting the way you're acting. Cause nobody smart acts the way act, acts like this. So I told her, I said, ma'am, we have to follow these procedures. Like we cannot just hand you the bag. Cause the thing is, even though the order will show up on your bank statement that you paid for it, it will say processing. When it goes through is when we approve it on the machine. That's first of all. Second of all, we have to make sure it's you that's picking up the order and it's not someone else. So that's why we need your ID and all that stuff. She threw me so off, I forgot to ask her for her ID. I just went straight to start looking for her her items, which I should have in my fault in my fault, I should have asked her for her ID first, but I wasn't I was so thrown off by the attitude, I even forgot to ask her for her ID. I'm looking and I'm like, okay, like, I, mind you, she had the attitude and all, and I let it go. I let it go because I was still in that good mood. So I said, okay, let's go ahead and look. I said, what's your last name? She was like, I don't know. I'm like, okay, like, what is your attitude about? Like, she said her last name, but she said it with, like, a big-ass attitude. I could tell at this point, okay, it has nothing to do with me. She's racist. Like, that's just either she's racist or she's impatient or she's a bitch. It's, it's, and I found out that it was all, all of the above. Like, I was taking a fucking test. Bitch, I found out it was all of the above. So, I asked her for her ID. I'm guessing because I'm bending down, like, I'm bending down looking for her product. So, I'm like, okay, let me see. I guess she showed me her ID when I was like this. 
Bitch, do I have eyes on the top of my head? How the fuck was I supposed to see your ID? I'm guessing when I when I got up, I asked her for her ID and she got an attitude with me. She was like, I just gave you my ID. Mind you, she's screaming. I don't know what's up with these customers and yelling, but let me tell you something. If you get loud, I'm gonna get loud with you because I tried to spare you when you had your little tantrum. I, I gave you a chance, but what you're not gonna do is you're not gonna get loud with me. That's just what you're not gonna do because bitch, I can get loud with you. She's like, I just gave you my ID. I don't got time for this. Give me my fucking order. The way I went off on her. Like, no, 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 no. I'm lying. I didn't even go off on her. I didn't even go off on her. Pretend this is her um her products in her hand, in my hand. I'm holding her bag. Like, this is her Ulta bag. And she says, just give me my fucking order. <laughs> bitch, that's how I threw it. You know how I saw baby like, bitch, that, bitch, I, bitch, I. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Bitch, you want your order? Have it. I threw the bag at her and I said, take it. Take it. And I told my manager, I said, we need somebody up here right now. Because at this time, I hadn't even approved her order. Like, I hadn't even approved her order. I threw the bag. I threw the iPhone. Because the iPhone is the thing that you use to search up the things. And I walked away. She starts screaming. Mind you, I'm walking away. Like, I'm walking away from her at this point. I said, I'm not checking you out. I said, you're not going to be yelling at me like that. I'm just not going to check you out. Like, I said, I, I spared you when you had your little attitude. But what you're not going to do is you're not going to yell at me because I can get loud too. She starts saying, I don't give a fuck. She said, don't fucking waste my time. She was like, I got shit to do. Don't fucking waste my time. Uh, she starts screaming. She's like, you dumbass. She told me you dumbass. She said, I fucking showed you my ID so many times. Bitch, you showed me out your ID twice. So, I didn't know that that equated to so many times like i showed you my id so many times but i said at this rate my my manager ran to the front because my manager wasn't at the front so my manager ran to the front it was like what's going on my manager's like irene what's going on irene what's going on i'm not even worried about my manager me and her we're going back and forth i don't know what i said to her but me and her are yelling and she's like check me out now bitch she calls me a bitch she says check me out now bitch i said bitch i ain't check you out how about that let me tell you how racist this story is. The line was full of nothing but old white women. When she said, check me out now, bitch, the, the customers ain't do nothing. They just stared at her. But when I said, bitch, I ain't check you out, all you hear is, oh my God. Don't call God now. Because the bitch called me a bitch before I called her a bitch. So don't call God now. You should have called God when she called me a bitch. Because at the end of the day, I understand that this is my job. But what you're not going to do is you are not going to talk to me anyhow. And if you are going to call me a bitch, you better put bad in front of it. If you don't put bad in front of it, I'm going to call you a bitch bad. Are you dumb? When I cursed her back out, everybody's like, oh my God. Oh, oh. I'm looking at them like, the fuck is you calling God for? He right here. What you calling him for? He right here. I called her a bitch back. She screamed. And I quote, fuck you. You black cucking. Fucking. Like I'm fucking her. Fat. <laughs> bitch, I kind of am fat. Cunt. Now, you know this lady was white because, bitch, I have never even heard the word cunt in a while. Like, I have not heard somebody call someone a cunt in such a long time. When she says that, mind you, she screams it really loud to the point where the, the people in the back near the salon, like my coworkers that work in the salon was like, Irene, did, did somebody call you? Uh, yeah, that's how loud she screamed it. She had her titties done. Like, and the thing is, I'm, I, I'm, I'm nothing for people who get their bodies done because I'm going to get my boobs done pretty soon, period. But don't talk about someone's body when you went under procedure to do your body surgically like you cannot talk about my body like and this lady was ugly as fuck like i could lose weight bitch you can never like you you have done procedures like it's very apparent that you have done procedures and you still look ugly like you still look mediocre you still look ugly as fuck with your fucking saggy ass face so she grabs her bag and she storms out and so at this time, my manager's telling me irene go to the back so i'm i'm like nah like she not gonna yell she not gonna do da 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 so my manager's like, Irene, go to the back, go to the back. So I go to the back. Tell me why when I'm in the back, coworkers say the customers, these are the customers that were in the line, say they're going to report me. Report me for what? Did you not hear this lady call me a black fucking fat cunt? Report me for what? The customer has the nerve to say, 
It doesn't matter what anybody say to you. When you're in your job, you're supposed to remain professional at all times. Should somebody slap me, I'm supposed to remain professional? No. If somebody slaps you, you can whoop their ass and they will be the one they will be the one to go to jail because bitch, they hit you first. And if the job wanna fire you, shit, let the job fire you. But at the end of the day, you're not gonna get away with just doing shit anyhow. So tell me why the customer who had nothing, I mean, this lady didn't know this lady from Adam or Eve, had nothing to do with the situation, said she was going to call HR and report me. What? And it just goes to show that white people really just let other white people get away with anything. They really do. They, let, they just let white people get away with anything. Because let me tell you something. If it was one of my white coworkers that that shit happened to, a white person would not say that. A white person would say, I'm so sorry for you, Becky. But when it's a black woman, a bigger black woman, arguing with a middle-aged, skinny, botched face, Louis Vuitton on her fucking bag so you can tell she's so materialistic and she's so the, the white woman middle age Karen aesthetic you want to say I'm gonna report her to HR bitch report me write a book about me I don't give a fuck at that point I didn't even want to work at the job anymore I was tired and then Kobe came and we, we didn't even get to work there so I was low-key happy not and you know the funny thing y'all I like working at Ulta but the, the customers were draining. Like, literally, the customers were so draining. Like, they would really make you rethink going to work. So, this is my last story time. And then I gotta go. This is my last story time. And this one, I made it last because it's so short. I was working with this girl. We're gonna call her Faith. We're gonna call her Faith. Faith was my age. Faith was fresh out of high school. And she was a pretty white girl. Very, very pretty. One of them white girls that look so innocent and adorable. Like... That they don't look their age. Like, Faith looked like she was, like, 16. But Faith was, like, really, I think, 19, I think. And she was so nice. The only thing with Faith is that she was annoying. Like, she was one of those white girls who just would not shut the fuck up. Just, But you know those coworkers at your job who just feel like they have to talk the whole time? She was one of them. So I low-key did not really like working with her because she just would talk my ear off. And I don't have time to be talking to you all day. So Faith and me were working. So Faith and I... We started becoming, not close, but you know when you work with someone a lot, you just, you become closer to them, even if you don't want to. She's talking to me, and I'm thinking like, oh, this girl is such a sweetheart. Like, she she seems so sweet, da da da, da. I said, oh, Faith. I said, um, what school do you go to? You know, she told me she got accepted to some school in Cali, I think. It was like a private school, but she didn't like it. I'm like, oh, why don't you like it? You know, like. You know, this is where you applied. It's not like, you know. He said she don't like it because they have too many rules. I mean, it's a private school. Like, it's a Christian private school. What makes you think they're not going to have a lot of rules? She said she dropped out. And she was like, she's not in college right now. But, um, she's going to go back to college. Da -da -da -da. So, we're talking. As I continue to talk to Faith, I told her, I said, well, what's like, what, what, what are you doing in school that you don't want them to, like, tell you not to do? Because she said they put a lot of restrictions on a lot of things I wanted to do. She tells me. I do cocaine. I said, okay, bitch, I ain't asked you what drugs you did, but you could carry on. I do pills. I smoke weed. She said, and I just can't do it there. Like, she was like, I've taken acid. She just starts giving me the rundown, and she's just one of those people who, like, you do not know who I am. Like, for all you know, I could be a snitch. I could be somebody that, that calls the manager and says, yes, we have a, um, we have an addict on the loose because she says she's addicted to acid. I'm just looking at her and I'm like, oh, because at this point, it's not my, you know, it's just not my business what you do with your life. It's just really not. So I'm like, oh, for real? She's like, yeah, girl. And she said, yeah, girl, like she did good. But you did horrible. The fuck you telling me? Yeah, girl. No, girl. While me and her are talking, a white woman pulls up. A white woman pulls up and... It's next in lines. It's just me and her. I tell the woman, I said, I can take you down here. I was at the register to the furthest to the to the door. And how they did it at Ulta is like, if you're at the first register, basically, you're supposed to call the customer next instead of the person in the middle. The lady, I said, ma'am, I can take you down here, says, no, I want to be checked out by her. It points at faith looking at the lady like okay like is this a contest like do you know faith in this moment i'm not thinking like oh no she not racist you know what i mean like she not racist like she probably know the girl or you know like or she probably got like a question for the girl to ask the girl like you know so this girl checks her out and by the end of faith checking her out faith was just looking like so i'm like what happened i gotta put my shit down we gonna get back to the hair the hair is almost done tell me why 
this white lady tells Faith that she does not look like someone who will be working here. But my question to you is, what the fuck do a person look like that should be working in retail? I thought that you like makeup and you like your hair and you like, you know, putting makeup on your face, then you should apply to Ota. I didn't know that Ota had in tone requirements, you know what I mean? She told my, my coworker that she don't look like somebody who should be working here. And the bitch pulls out her card. Like, what are you doing? She pulls out her card and tells Faith, hit her up if she wants a real job making real money and that Faith should not be working here because she could just tell that Faith is an elegant, classy woman. No, bitch. You could just tell that Faith is white. That's what the fuck you could tell. Because, bitch, if you find out what Faith did, bitch, you gonna tell me to go to the job before you tell Faith to go to the job. Because, bitch, last time I checked, Faith said she did acid. Faith said she did coke. <laughs> Fine. Faith said she did marijuana. So you're not gonna be telling Faith to go to the job because bitch, Faith gonna show up to the job high, okay? And she gave her her card and walked out. And let me tell you what the bitch did before she walked out. She looked at me and she me mugged me. But because I didn't know that this is what she did, I didn't know that she was me mugging me. I was like, okay, you're probably tripping. No, this lady literally looked at me. She said, not even a me mug of like, I don't like you. Like a me mug of disgust. Like she was like, what the fuck did I do to you? Uh, I was just appalled, y'all. Like, I was like, here go another racist one. Like, they just, they are so racist at this job. I have so much more racist encounters at Ulta. I mean, I have so many more story times about racist encounters that I've encountered at Ulta. If you guys like this video, I will do another story. I will do a part two because I have so much more stories. So guys, this is the final look with the hair. It's done. <laughs> it's something quick and easy because your girl gotta go. I just wanna set out a disclaimer. If you are not subscribed to this channel, why are you not? <laughs> There's so much shit going on on this channel. If you're not subscribed, bitch, I'm looking at you sideways. Like this. And bitch, I wanna look at you like this. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Like, it's free. You feel me? Like, it helps me. It's free. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I don't really care about giving a review on this hair. Uh, I don't really care, too. But if you want one, let me know. My phone is acting up, so I have to grab it off the, um, the thing. But if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and check out the other videos. If you haven't checked out my last story time that I did, go ahead and check it out. If I have a Shein haul, go ahead and check that out. Like, just check, 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 just check it out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.